Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this video, we'll be learning how to start integrating Steam in your Unity game. We'll be focusing on setting it up this video and getting a simple example working. Then you can go ahead and look on the documentation for the certain features you want to implement. Though there are certain things that you have to actually have your game published on Steam already to be able to use, such as stats and achievements, but plenty of the other things you can use right now. I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's get started. And one last thing before we start, it would be greatly appreciated if you haven't already to go down below and check the link to my new Udemy course where we make a tower defense game in Unity. You can check out the promo video to see if it's for you and give the description a quick read. But apart from that, let's continue with the video. So to integrate your Unity game with Steam, we're going to be using Steamworks. This is developed by Steam, and it's a way to access things such as stats, achievements, your friends list, inviting people to your lobby, and everything else Steam offers for games. All you need for this video is an account on Steam and then just to have it running on your PC, have it logged in. You don't need to do anything on the actual website itself unless you're publishing your own game and you have your own stats and achievements set up. There are some limitations as to what you can do when developing, but if you actually have your game already on Steam and it's got its own unique app ID, you can actually use that when following along. But we're going to be using a developer app ID. And if you go here and get started and you look through this, you'll get to a point when you realize it's all in C++. But luckily, we have something called Steamworks.net, which is a way for us to use it in Unity. It's very simple to use. And it says on here all the different things that we can do. OK, now most of this, you can actually just go look at the official docs. And then if you know how to kind of convert from C++ to C Sharp, it's quite easy to use, uh, though there is some of it on here, too. Now, if we go to the installation, OK, it'll tell us you need to download this Unity package file from releases. So we click on releases. OK. And then down here, we get this Unity package. Just click on it, and it'll download it to your PC. Once you're done, open up a blank Unity project like so, OK? And all I'm going to do is just drag it into my project. It'll take a second, so I'm going to skip ahead. Once that's in, you see all the files here, OK? Just import them, and then give that another second to do. And now inside Unity, you've got some extra files, OK? So inside scripts, you've got the steamworks.net script, the Steam Manager, and then you've also got inside here, more files. You don't have to look into any of this. It doesn't matter. But if we open this in Explorer, you see we also have a hidden text file, Steam App ID. Okay. Now this, if I drag this over, says 480. So if you have your game and it's already published on Steam, you'll have an App ID. So you replace it here. Okay. And it will also tell you uh, the first time you do this, it might tell you to restart your Unity editor. But because we're just using the default 480, which is for testing purposes, then we can just go ahead and use it as it is. So for this video, we'll have a simple example where on start, we'll log out to the console our Steam name. So we'll actually have some code in our Unity project that reads from Steam. It'll go grab my name, which is just Dapper Dino. So to do this, we need one object in the scene called the Steam Manager. Okay. For Steam Manager, we just need to add the component Steam Manager. Okay, that's it. Then we need another game object for our test. Okay, so we'll just call this Steam Test. And let's go create a script for it. Okay, so we'll just make a new C Sharp script called Steam Test. And then once that's compiled in a second, we'll go add it to here and we'll start coding it. So now we're here inside our script. All we need for this is we need a start method, okay? And in start, we're going to check and make sure that we're actually logged into Steam. Otherwise, we'll start getting errors when we try and access our friends list and it doesn't work. So I'm gonna say if Steam, or we'll say if not, Steam Manager dot is initialized, oh sorry, initialized, okay? If it isn't initialized, then we'll just return, okay? But if we are initialized, then we'll go grab our name of Steam. So we'll get string name equals, and we'll say Steam friends, okay, Steam friends. And there's plenty of other methods here you can look into to get your friends count. You can loop over your friends list and send invites. You can do whatever you like. But well, we're going to say get persona name, okay? And that basically just returns your name as a string. And then we can do a simple debug.log to make sure it works, our name, okay? So what it'll do is, as it says, when we start, it'll say, make sure Steam is open and ready. If it isn't, then we'll return and won't do anything. But if Steam is open and ready, then we'll move on to go grab our name, okay, and debug log it. So just this little simple code example will prove that Unity can now interact with Steam. And then in future videos, I can do even more. One example is we can do, um, instead of having to port forward with Mirror, you can actually use Steam to get rid of that. So you can simply just invite someone off your friends list to your game built with Mirror and it'll work just fine. So let's go test this in Unity. So in Unity, obviously the console is empty. I've got Steam open. My name's Dapper Dino. I'll press play. And if we just give it a second, it'll just go grab my name and log it to the console. There we go. So there we have it. The most basic integration with Steam possible. I know a lot of you will want to see more, 
I want to know what you guys actually want to see, you know, if you want to see certain parts of Steamworks. I'm not going to cover everything they have to offer unless, you know, over time people want to see every little thing. But just let me know down below the specific things you want to see. Though I already have my next video planned, which is to show you how to connect to someone using Mirror Multiplayer, but with Steamworks. Okay, that'll be pretty fun. If you had any problems with this, let me know down below, but it should be pretty simple to follow along and get set up with this example. Thanks as always for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, it would help a lot. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. Special thanks to Taylor Rustio, John Selig, Liz Kimber, Drandy, Sam Marcus, Matt Fryer, Jake Holby, LN, Fabian Reno, Malvin, Zumran, David McDermott, Exit, Josh Folsom, Birdadai, Dustin Miller, Rack, Yoris Letter, Heidi Zorko, Rene, Lucas, and Ilya Moon. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, as well as our website and our new course on Udemy. If you could go and check out any of those, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.